Hey guys, Danman308 here, and today I'm going to be explaining how to use citizens and how to use all the commands and put citizens into your server. So, currently I'm at the Golderia, um, the Kingdom of Golderia spawn, and there's actually some NPCs in this in the spawn. So what we have here is the stables. And in here we need a skin of the owner. So what we're gonna start off by doing is typing slash NPC create and then the name of the NPC the, the, the name you want for the NPC. So what you can do is just put a random name which will show above its head in its name tag, or you can put the name of an actual Minecraft account. This will load the skin of that person and put basically a model of them in the game. So the owner is Milo Gold. So there we go. As you can see, it spawned where I was stood, so I stood there, so it spawned there. Next thing, what I wanted to do is when people are stood, say here, I want him to look around towards them. So what we're going to do is slash NPC look close. He'll now look around as you move around and always look towards the nearest person. Next, what I'm going to show you now is there are some weird things you can do in this in this plugin, and one of them is NPC controllable. This will let you right click on the, the, um, the NPC and you'll be able to move around and walk about on top of their head, which is quite weird, I think, and kind of, kind of derpy. So yeah, and then just get off. And... Yeah. Um, one of the other things is if you do slash NPC vulnerable, you damage it. And if you hit it enough times, you can kill it. As you can see there. And then you can set a, sp a spawn, I believe, for doing NPC spawn. And then the idea of it. As you can see there, it spawned where it last was. So, what I want to do now, he's not supposed to be up there, he's supposed to be here. So I'm going to stand where I want the NPC, I'm going to move it. So stand, as I say, where you want it to stand, and slide, type NPC move. And it will move it to where you were when you just did that. It also makes it pushable. So you can push it around and do whatever to it. Next is there are a few other things. You can set paths. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you can set paths by doing NPC path. And then I think you left yeah, you left click to add a point. kind of glitchy but it will then walk around within that area and it will just constantly go around those points that you've put down right one of the other things you could do NPC equip I'm already in an editor to leave the editor that you're in type the command that you went to get into it right Um, slash NPC con controllable. Right. He needs to not be controllable. Now he has a diamond sword. You can also give them tools and um, other tools and armor using the equip command. So if I give him the helmet, chest plate, 
That's a boost. Full set of diamond armor. Look at that. Mega giraffe. No one will be killing him anytime soon. Right. I also want to remove the path. So, do slash NPC equip to leave the editor. And then I right click to remove the paths. Go over there. And then the NPC path to leave the editor. Which means I can now break stuff. <clears throat> so those are some of the basic commands of citizens. And I will be going into some more detailed commands in the next episode of how to make NPCs of mobs, how to change whether they're like a baby or a normal size mob. And there will also be some other other, um, other commands that I'll be showing you that are pretty cool. So, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.